In this session, we'll design the joists for this plan. So first of all, we need to break this into zones. So I might suggest this to be one zone. And this is another zone. This is another one, another one. This is another one, and this is another one. So at the end, you will be given these as broken into zones, like so, in the test. So here I see this is zone one, two, three, four, and five. Now it is important to to know the direction of spanning. So for zone one, this this joist must be spanning in this way. This panel will be always in the short direction. Just keep that in mind because that is an essential uh, information. So that will be the direction for zone one. And for zone two, and for zone two, you will have two pieces, one will be in this, and this will be the other one. And for zone three, it will be in this direction, from this one piece, other one, and the other one. And for zone four, it will be this, and for zone five, it will be like that. So each zone might have more than one area, or more than one span to design for. And for that reason, now let's try uh, to work on zone 1. So for zone 1, if you go back to the, here this is zone, zone 1 is here. So all you need to do is to get this value, which is 5.32, because your, your, your joist will be spanning in this direction. So I need this distance, and it doesn't matter whatever the measurement is given, if it is center to center or face to face, doesn't matter. You will be given one, one measurement and you, you, you will use that measurement for the selection. So keep in mind we we have 5.32 and we have only one one type of joist here. 5.32. So for that one, we need to go to, to a table which is provided by Canadian Wood Council. And for that one, so we have... The, ta the, the task is to get 5.32 so for 5.32 I need to get um, um, a span a joist that can take 5.3 or a bit more so for that one we'll have we'll look for the the these numbers here these numbers so look for these numbers the closest to 5.32 which will be, let's see, 5. This could work. So what how the table works is this this is the type of this the material SPF, and and these are the 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 measurement of joists, 38 by 286. This is 38 by 235, 38 by 184, 38 by 140. And these are, these joists are strapped. Strapping is used for these ones. And you have two subfloors. You have 15.5 or 18.5. Now all of these are options that you can choose because the design is yours. So you can choose anything that is suitable as far as it fills the the requirement. So if I will go to the the next table and you can choose like I said and this table you see you have again the same thing these are the the sizes of joists this is the type of material and this is the thickness of the subfloor thickness of the subfloor and in this case it is using bridging and strapping um, so it's based on I have five point three two the measurement so I would like to use something as close as possible. You could use also this for example five point three five if you will. You can use this one 
but you see the spacing here is 400 and the spacing is 300 so the choice is yours um, you could use again based on what restrictions you have so if, if I will use for example 5.33 this is the closest uh, so that means that I'm using uh, the joist size is 38 by 286 and I'm using 400 millimeter center center spacing for, for studs and I'm using 15.5 uh, thickness of the subfloor and I'm using nailed and glued these subfloors are nailed and glued to the to the uh, to the joist uh, I have to use bridging and strapping so all of this information you need to put in a template which I already have ready for you so you just got this information and let's take a look at the so if you go to the template here so the template so the, the we have only one span which is uh, five point was five point five point three meters the measurement is in meters and uh, the material is is SPF if you remember this text structure number one and two and the subfloor we go back and take a look at subfloor subfloor is we say is 15.5 so we say the subfloor is 15.5 and it is SPF and it is nailed and glued, nailed and glued, and the spacing is 400 mm, millimeter subfloor. We don't need to write that because it's already said here. And it is, but we have to mention it is nailed and glued. And we are using bridging and strapping here also. You can put the bridging and strapping here if you want to. Just bridging and strapping is used. Now the measurement for the joist. Um, this is you don't have to abide by this. You can use any material you want to. So the dimension for the joist is is thirty eight by two eighty six. Six millimeters, and the joist spacing, which is is the joist spacing is is four hundred is four hundred millimeters, and maximum allowable span is five point three three. As you see here, it's 5.33. So it's 5.33. And now we need to mention the table number. So table number is table number 38 here. And sorry, table number is 38 and page number 38 and the table number is table number is is 1.1 this is the table number is one point one so that's for zone number one if you want to do zone we want to do zone number two so we need to go back again to or this one so zone number two will have two spans it will have one span is this and that span is this let's see what these spans are uh, this one we have 2.99 and 3.99 okay so let's go to 
This is row number two, so I have two. I have 2.99 and 3.99. And now I'll we'll start to look for the material and the design. So let's go to the table again. So here's the table. Uh, we have 2.99, 2.99. So we could use This might look good, close to 2.99. Can you choose, if you choose anything that is above 2.9, is it still good? So if I would like to use this, which will, which means that I'm using material-wise SPF, and I am using subfloor 15.5 millimeter thickness, and this is on nailed, there is no glue, and it is 400 spacing. So for, so uh, let me do that. So the material is, is SPF again. Select structural and it is number three. If you look at the table, it is number. This one is number three. Okay, just you have to be careful. These are small details that you need to pay attention to. And then the subfloor we said is 15.5 and it is only nailed. And the, the measurement is 38 by 184 millimeter. And it, there's a strapping here. So put st strapping. So we said this is the one, and this is, and there is strapping. Mm -hmm. And the joist spacing is the joist spacing is four hundred. A maximum allowable is is three point three three point three and table number is is one point one. And page number is 36. That's for the first choice. The second choice is 3.99. And for that one, we need to find another match. So let's go back for 3.99. Um, maybe. We have this is three point eight nine and we could use you can choose any number. So I'm trying to find something that is a possible 400 spacing because I would like to be consistent because this is what the reality is find something this could be reasonable 4.1 but that will be, so 4.1 will be 400 spacing. The size is 38 by 235. And it's 15.5 thickness of the subfloor. It's only nailed. Strapping used. 
and this is SPF. So let's go and populate all this information here. So this is 4.1 the maximum, and the table is same, and the size is 38 by 235. Strapping is used. It is 15.5, sorry, 15.5 nailed. This is SPF, same select structural, select structural. It is number one and two, select structural. So that is for the zone 1 and zone 2. And you can do the rest of the zones based on the very same concept, the straightforward method.